I sold it again. I don't know if you guys remember, but if you've been here a while, I got one of these. I hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter bolos. What's a bread and butter bolo? Well, to me, a bread and butter bolo is an item that I can put into my store that is going to sell for a profit. Um, these items are items that I sold for $35 or less. That's what I call my bread and butter. Does it have to sell fast? No. Do I have to source it cheap? Usually, they're usually easier to find items. So what is your definition of bread and butter? These are items that keep my store afloat. So I'm not making like huge money on them, but they're, they're always selling, you know? Even if they're long tail, something is selling every day because I have my store loaded with bread and butter. Let's get started. All right, the first item I sold is this Chatty Cathy. And there's a little story behind this one. The lady messaged me and she really wanted the item. It was an international sale and she could not get it to go through. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I've had international sales. I had one that day, I'm pretty sure. I had had no problems. And then a week later, I ended up having to cancel the transaction for buyer shipping address. And about a week later, I had another international sale, which triggered me to think, oh, I'm going to message her and see what's going on. Well, it turns out that she had a P.O. box attached to her account, and that is why it was blocking her from making the purchase. So she used her husband's account, I think, to buy the doll. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents, took a best offer of 30 plus shipping, and this went internationally. This is a My Little Pony lot, and... I actually sold two lots to the same person. These sold to one of my best customers. Thank you so much again for your purchase. This is Pinky's Secondhand Store. She buys from me all the time. She's a viewer of the channel. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Um, you guys go and follow her on uh, eBay. She is a huge support to the reseller community. Save her as a seller and check out some of her other items that she has for sale. I feel like she has very reasonable, fair prices and lots of great stuff. So definitely go and give her a follow. Oh my goodness, look at this. 2,000 plus vintage junk drawer button lots, Bakelite metal plastic crafts. Ooh, I know that over on Whatnot, I do really well with buttons. So, And it looks like she has some jewelry lots also. Let's look at this. Um, I don't like this new... Uh, how they have it, this small screen. Are you guys getting this? What do you guys think? So who collects buttons? Who sells buttons? Somebody just bought a button from my whatnot and sold one button for $149. So yeah, some buttons go for big money. She's selling all of these for $62.99. That is incredible. So check her out. Check out her store. She does have some items that could be considered reseller lots. And um, you guys follow me on Whatnot if you're not already. I do have a link down below. It is a uh, link that you can get $15 to shop if you use my referral link. So definitely do that. I sell a lot of jewelry. I've sold toys, vintage clothes, kind of do a little bit of everything over there. So I'd love for you guys to come and follow me and check out a live sale. Do not feel any pressure to buy. Just come hang out. And again, please check out Pinky's secondhand store. She is just an amazing person. Sponge Bob Squarepants, Food Fight Patrick Starfish. Most of you would have walked right past this guy. He looks a little blurry to me. Let's see. He is from, let's see, is that say 2015 or 16 Viacom? So the information is on the foot. I always put a tape measure in there to let you know how big he is. He's just a little guy. Cake topper also would have been a good thing to put into the title. This one here, I uh, paid a quarter for it and sold it for $9.92 plus shipping. And I forgot to tell you, she bought this My Little Pony set and another one. Um, I opened up her store with it. So two My Little Ponies. 
and she paid all in $45.50 plus shipping for those pony sets. And what she does is she buys for me and then she relists the items in her store. These are absolutely stunning. Vintage made in Italy. I forget how to say this word. Venetian wedding cake glass button clip on earrings. They are beautiful. Look at that. What do they say on the back? Italy? Did I not put? Oh, yeah, I did put made in Italy. I'm like, did I forget to put that in the title? Vintage clip on earrings. Some of them do really well, guys. Uh, 50 cents. I paid for these at a thrift store and I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping. The next item is this little owl with a pencil. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It weighed next to nothing. It's very, very small, super cute, sold quicker than I expected for $6.20 plus shipping. This is Scentsy Buddy Tigger and he has his scent with him. It is retired and I sold this for a best offer of $12 plus shipping and I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. This is a vintage SeaWorld brown walrus plush stuffed animal with tusk from 1980. SeaWorld plush. Now, did I get big money for this? No, but it sold pretty quick and it said it came from my free plush. So I'm guessing this came from a viewer who reached out to me and said, I've got all this plush. I need somebody to come get it. And I went and got it. And I have videos on that. Uh, I put a lot of those videos in my reseller vlogs. Amazing plush. Free to me just to come pick it up. How nice was that? I will link her store down in the description as well. So that walrus, let's see. Sold for $9.30 plus shipping. This is a vintage to me, Water Games, Needle Nose Dolphin Ring Toy. How fun. Does anybody remember having one of these? I feel like I had one of these as a kid. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. It sold for $21.70 plus shipping. And for everybody that wants to know, did I dump out the water? Yes, I did before I shipped it. The next item is this Jurassic World Camp uh, Cretaceous uh, Snap Squad Dinosaur Figure Toy. This guy is little. He's just a little guy, less than three inches. Got him at a garage sale for a quarter and sold him for $9 plus shipping. This one, you probably saw this in my Goodwill Benz video. He was on sale and my sale ended. There's a very short time where I don't run a sale and this was one of them. And it sold for my full asking price, price of $25 plus shipping. So I think I probably had it underpriced. It is a Jurassic World Scorpios Rex from Danger Pack Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape, and it is posable. So this was a little bit heavier, so probably had 2 to $3 in this from the bins and sold it for $25 plus shipping. I sold it again. I don't know if you guys remember, but if you've been here a while, I got one of these. I think, I can't remember where I got the first one. It might have been the bins. And it's Precious Moments, which is hit and miss, but it's baby's first Christmas and it's 1995. So it is very, very specific to a year. You have to find the right buyer. The first one sold pretty quickly. This one also sold pretty quickly. It's crazy. Uh, the first one sold right after Christmas and this one sold um, in the summer. So just random and weird times to be buying ornaments. Do I list Christmas all year round? Absolutely. I sold this for $14 plus shipping. This little cute dog right here is from the bins and it is a gunned puddles, tan brown puppy dog, cocker spaniel, red collar. If you can identify the dog, definitely put that in your title. That's going to help you sell it. This one had the dog's name, so I was able to research it and figure out that it was a Cocker Spaniel because I am so bad with dog breeds. Sold this for $22.75 plus shipping, and it came from the Goodwill bins. Here is a lovey. It is a fox. It is super, super cute. Security blanket, and I got this at a garage sale for $2. I did pay up a little bit uh, because I knew it would sell. I sold this for $14 plus shipping. These are baseball themed buttons. And I will tell you, these took forever to sell so long that I didn't have them labeled. So I was looking where I thought they were not there. And then I was like, check the craft tote. And 
I found them. Thank goodness. Sold them for $6.49 plus shipping. Probably had pennies in to them. This one came from a dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. I do have the entire unboxing on my channel. This was purchased for me from Christopher, Amazing Steals and Deals. That's his eBay store. I will link him down in the description of the video. You guys definitely check out his store. He is one of the biggest bolo finders I know. The man finds amazing stuff. But he purchased a $200 dibble box for me from Donatella Bottolino. If you have not subscribed to her YouTube channel, definitely go and give her a sub. She sells to resellers. And this item right here is an old spill and spell game. And it sold for $16.25 plus shipping. A pair of scissors. Would you have wasted your time? Probably not. Um, I got these in a big lot of creative memories items. And I do really well with creative memories. These are the congratulations scissors. And I got them at a garage sale. Probably around a buck cost of goods because it was a whole big lot. Maybe 50 cents. Sold this for $9.75 plus shipping. With tax and shipping, these scissors cost the buyer $16.48. So, you know, I think when you add that tax and shipping, it really makes you realize how much these scissors were. It's crazy. Fisher Price Little People Disney Princess Cinderella sitting in a swan boat. Got her at a thrift store. I can't remember what I paid for her. Probably less than a buck. Sold it for $8 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Dimensions Crook. Cruel Kit Doctor and the Doll from uh, 1981. And I got this. I can't even remember where. It took a long, 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 long time to sell for some reason. But I sold it for $12.99 plus shipping. This is a Wish Pet Squirrel Roly Poly Brown Plush Stuffed Animal from 2017. I got it at the Goodwill Bins. Sold it for a best offer of $12.50 plus shipping. Another Wendell August double switch cover. Picked it up at a garage sale with a whole bunch of them. They have been selling like, they're, they're selling amazing. And I have bronze and I have aluminum and they do really well. And this one sold for $30 plus shipping and it was $1. And you can see right here, it is handmade. And there's the information on it. So anything Wendell August, look it up. Vintage Halloween 5-inch printing banner, new old stock. And this retailed for $1.99 back in the day. And it was made in Taiwan. I sold this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for $1. Mini Mouse Wallpaper Border. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. Sold this for $15.50 plus shipping. This is a gunned Victoria's Secret. So it's a collab. It's an exclusive. Going to be harder to find. Probably can sell it for more. It was from 2001. Retired with the original tag. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. And it sold for $21.70 plus shipping. Mojo Golf Balls by Nike. Damaged box. Got them at the bins. Sold them for $8 plus shipping. This next item are vintage Lincoln log horses. These are the replacement horses from horses, <laughs> horses from the Prairie Express. Got it at the bins and sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. If you guys have not seen my Goodwill Bins videos, definitely go check them out. They're a lot of fun. This here I got at a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for it. It was in a complete game, but it didn't work. So I decided to part it out. I pulled out the pieces that I thought maybe people would be missing from their game. And I sold these for $12.40 plus shipping. Now, could I have taken this down smaller and just sold the balls and sold these pieces out and parted it out even more and made more money? Absolutely. But I was being lazy and I just listed it like this. <laughs> the next item is this. The next item is this Needles and Hoops Autumn Harvest Sampler Petite Stamped Cross Stitch Kit, $6.51. And I have sold two of these. I have two left. And I sold this for $17.36 plus shipping. And I picked this up at an estate sale. Vintage White Owl Stuffed Animal Soft Classics from 1995. I got this at the bins. I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. And it does have some wear on the nose. 
The next item here is this little monkey. How cute is it? It's a pullback car. Um, it is signed JW. I got this at the bins and I sold this for $13 plus shipping. The next item is this Swaddle Baby Baby's Turtle Plush with Carrier Stuffed Animal. It is so cute. It's by Fiesta. Got this at the Goodwill Bins. Took a best offer of $25 plus shipping and it sold pretty quickly. This is a Designs for the Needle Sun Bonnet Sue 111 Stamped Cross Stitch Quilt Blocks. So this is for quilting. I also have another set of nine, I think it is, listed, which is enough to make a king. Uh, this person actually asked me if I would part out that set and I decided not to because I want to sell it to somebody who is looking to make a king. Now, you're probably wondering how on earth did I know how many quilt blocks it took to make that? Well, it tells you right here. So uh, nine required for a king. So I went ahead and did that. And then this was extra. So I listed it separately. So keep that in mind when you're doing uh, quilt blocks. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Those were my bread and butter bolos. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And go down there and follow me on Whatnot. Get that $15 to shop. And I hope to see you at a show. Thanks for watching.